Overdose deaths can occur at any workplace, but they are more common in some industries. Recent state-level studies of opioid overdose deaths show that construction workers are six to seven times more likely to die of an overdose than workers in other professions. While the most effective way to prevent an overdose death is by not using an opioid, that isn't always possible or realistic. That's why it's always best to be prepared to step in and save a life, even when you least expect it. Naloxone is a drug used to reverse the effects of opioids. It's safe and effective, but it has no effect on overdoses that are not related to opioids. While overdoses can happen from a number of drugs, opioids are one of the most common. Opioids come in several different forms, morphine, hydrocodone, oxycodone, codeine, heroin, and fentanyl. When someone is having an opioid overdose, the receptors in their brain get filled and overstimulated by opioids. And when these receptors are full or are maxed out, your brain tells your body to slow down or even stop your breathing. Naloxone works to reverse this process. It works by binding with and blocking opioid receptors to rapidly reverse the effects of opioid overdose. There may come a time that you need to step in and save a coworker or a friend's life on the job or off, and it's important to have the skills required to do it. So it's important to make sure that you know how to spot the signs and symptoms of an overdose. So what are the signs and symptoms? Signs of an overdose may include falling asleep or loss of consciousness, slow, shallow breathing, limp body, choking or gurgling sounds, blue, pale, or cold skin, especially blue lips, gums, or fingertips, small, constricted pinpoint pupils. Knowing how and when to use naloxone can save a life. And remember, even if you're mistaken and a coworker is not suffering from an overdose, you cannot hurt the person when using naloxone. So it's always best to try. After determining that an overdose is likely happening, take action. Go get the first aid kit. Locate the nearest naloxone. Quickly review the instructions provided with each dose. It's important to note that the naloxone available on a job site is for use in the nose only. And it can be used on adults and children. Also, each package of naloxone is for single use only. Next, remove the naloxone from the box and peel back the tab with the circle to remove the naloxone from the packaging. Hold the naloxone with your thumb on the bottom of the red plunger and your first and middle fingers on either side of the nozzle. Tilt the person's head back and provide support under the neck with your hand. Gently insert the tip of the nozzle into one nostril until your fingers on either side of the nozzle are against the bottom of the person's nose. Then press the red plunger firmly to administer the dose of the naloxone spray. Once the spray is done, remove the naloxone from the person's nose. Each plunger only contains one dose of naloxone so it's important not to test or practice pushing the plunger until you have inserted the tip of the medication into the individual's nostril. Once you've administered naloxone, call 911. Yeah, I have like reported unconscious person with paramedics. Naloxone is only a temporary treatment and emergency medical help is still required. Naloxone is very powerful and works quickly. And when administered soon after someone starts experiencing an overdose, that person will usually wake up within one to three minutes. Sometimes, however, additional administration of naloxone may be necessary. This is especially crucial for individuals who may be experiencing an overdose from fentanyl. If the person does not wake up and start breathing three minutes after administration, repeat the administration. The naloxone will work for 30 to 90 minutes. Move the person onto their side and into the recovery position. That is, on their side with legs bent and head resting on their arm on the floor. Keep making sure the person is awake and breathing. Now that we know how to use naloxone and what naloxone is, let's review where and how it should be stored. We recommend that every first aid kit should include naloxone and multiple doses of it. 
because sometimes more than one dose is needed. In addition, anyone who may be around a coworker, family member, or loved one who is struggling with substance misuse of opioids should carry it on them. Naloxone should be stored below 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Excursions are permitted up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not freeze or expose naloxone to excessive heat above 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep naloxone nasal spray in the box until ready for use. And protect from light. Replace the naloxone nasal spray before the expiration date on the box. On March 29, 2023, the Food and Drug Administration approved naloxone for non-prescription, over-the-counter use, making it significantly easier to obtain the life-saving drug without a prescription. This will make naloxone available for purchase at places like drugstores, convenience stores, grocery stores and gas stations, as well as online. Anyone, including family members, caregivers, or other people who may have to use naloxone in an opioid overdose, should be taught to recognize the signs of an opioid overdose and to administer naloxone. The tips you've learned today will not only help you keep your coworkers safe on the job, but can help keep your friends, family, and community members safe anytime.